Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to convert altcoins to bitcoins um, and also how to trade on BTER, which is just an um, online trading site. So first let's just go over what, um, what it kind of means to trade coins um, or altcoins for bitcoins. A lot of people have asked me like to mine just bitcoins. The reason that I don't have a guide on that is it's very difficult to mine bitcoins without very expensive hardware. So the best way to get bitcoins nowadays um, is to mine with a graphics card or mine with your CPU. And I have a couple different guides on that. Um, you know, a CPU coin would be Quark coin, Max coin, um, memory coin, things like that. Once you have that, you might still want some bitcoins because that's what most of the online digital um, currency is. So if you want to purchase something, you, you, you might need a bitcoin. Um, the question is, now that you have these, or you've mined these altcoins, is it smart to trade for Bitcoin or vice versa? Is it smart to trade Bitcoins for altcoins? Um, I feel personally that I'm holding about 30% of my uh, online kind of alt currency or cryptocurrency in um, Bitcoins. Just because it is the first coin, it's the most trusted coin, and it's it's been out there the longest. Um, now, that being said, the room for growth I think is a lot higher in some of these altcoins. Some coins will raise 500% overnight. Um, so it, that's kind of exciting to see that jump. And if you play around the, this trading here, you can actually get in on the action, do some research on the form, see what's the new coin that's coming out, and trade some of your coins for that new coin, and hopefully to ride the wave up, and, um, and then trade it for something else later on. Um, but me mostly, I'm I'm holding for the long term, so I'm I'm trading my coins, and I, I don't do the kind of day trading. I like just to sit on it, and I'm, when I say long term, I mean a year or two, um, and, and just kind of watch it grow. Um, otherwise, it's just too stressful <laughs> for me personally. The uh, last thing is, is it safe to put coins online? Is it hacker proof? Well, nothing is hacker proof. Um, NSA knows that all too well. <laughs> But um, what I recommend is to put uh, half your coins online within an online wallet like um, BTER.com uh, or Coinsy or um, there's a couple other ones and we'll send you some links, um, Cripsy's one. But you put that in an online wallet and enable second form authentication. Uh, that's going to give it be much more difficult for any hackers to get in there. The other thing is encrypt your wallets on your computer. So if somehow a virus got in, um, it could just could not just steal your coins. It would have to, uh, you know, decrypt that first. Uh, so that is my recommendation for that. And if one did get hacked, you'd only lose half your coins. If half of them online, and half of them are offline. So that is my reasoning there. Now let's just get into how to actually trade. Um, so I'm assuming you do not have a account yet. So I'm going to show you how to set up an account. Do is just click on this link right here. And what that's going to do is give you an extra 10% off your trades. Uh, just like stock trades, it, they do charge you a small percentage on trading coins. Um, but with this, you're going to get 10% off for six months. So i give you some examples here. Basically, you're going to go in to fill out a username, test, and I'm just putting in just some stuff here. And then you can put in e your email. Now, this would be if you, if you lost your um, if you lost your password, you could reset it like this. Fun password, something secure, and you get ver verification code. And then once you do that, hit submit. And I put the wrong verification code in. But anyway, once we do that, you hit submit, and then you're gonna log in with the password we just put in username and password and then you're going to put in the verification code that's this number right here now this TOTP that is the second um, 
form authentication. I'll go over that later, but that you're going to leave blank for now, and you're going to log in here. So now, once you've logged in, we go to my account. As you can see I have some uh, some coins in here, and when you first log in, you're probably going to get to a screen like this. Um, a lot of confusing confusing things on here, so I'm just going to go through the very basics on how to do a trade. First thing we're going to do is go to account. And that's kind of what I like about this site right here, um, BTER, is it shows you, you a US dollar amount of your current coins and a Bitcoin amount. So it takes all your totals, uh, if you have a bunch of different coins, and it puts them into US dollars so you don't have to do your own calculations uh, manually. So I do like that a lot. That's why this particular site is one of my favorites. Some of the other sites don't have that, so that's why I like this site. Um, all right, now we're into the account, and we want to basically put some some money into this account. So let's go. Now it's going to be the same for pretty much all these coins. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to do Quark coin, but if you want to do memory coin, secure coin, it's the same steps, just using your different wallet. So we're going to go to Quark. I'm going to click deposit, and here we can see this deposit address. So I'm going to copy this address. Now I'm going to go to my Windows wallet, open that up, and then I'm going to go to send. I'm going to just go in right here. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to send it just so you see how, how it looks. So I'm verify that address, and then I'm going to put a label. That's fine. I'm going to do 49 coins. Um, sometimes, depending on what kind of coin you're going to send, the larger amounts will not send. So you can try different amounts, but I'm going to send 49 coins. And are you sure you wish to send? Yes. Now I've encrypted my wallet, like you should too. And they will ask me for a password every time I send. Um, but it won't ask me for a password when, when I receive. This is saying it's over a size limit, but and it's going to charge me a small fee which I don't have a choice in, so I'm going to have to click yes. <laughs> uh, depending on the coin, some coins don't have fees. You know, it really depends on the coin. A lot of these coins do, because that's how they kind of get money to help the growth, I guess, of the uh, coin advertise and whatnot. All right, now I'm going to go to transactions, and you want to see verify here that this is sent. Um, now, it might take a while to confirm. You know, it could take anywhere from 10 minutes to 2 hours depending on the coin. Some of them will even take you know, up to 30 seconds to, to transfer. Most of them will take longer than that, so I'll give it a good two hours. Um, but what I've done already, I've done some transactions, and you can see the successes here. So once it is successful, you're going to go into your back to your account, and you should see 49 coins here. Um, so now what we're going to do is trade those Quark coins for Bitcoins. In order to do that, we're going to click Trade, and we're going to go Sell Quark. You're going to put in 49, because that's how many coins we want to sell. Now, you could sell just one or two. That's up to you. I'm going to just do the full amount. It's going to show you your fee right here in Quark, 18%, and we're going to hit Sell. Confirm order, and the order's been placed. Now, it might take a little while for that trade to actually happen. Um, we'll go back to your account. You can see now under Quark it's uh, out of your main balance and it's in, in an order. When it fully finishes it'll show up here under BTC. That's your um, Bitcoin. And this amount will either become something with zero or it'll just rise if you already have coins in here. So now you actually have Bitcoins which is awesome. Um, and what you can do with that now is you can actually buy a, a lot of stuff online uh, except Bitcoins, Tiger Direct, um, Overstock.com, um, there's just a multitude and, and more and more coming each and every day. Uh, you could do some Google searches on uh, where to spend bit Bitcoin, so that, that would be um, a good uh, thing to do. Um, and you, the basic, uh, that's basically how to trade altcoins. And you can do the same thing 
with uh, doggy coins, max coins, any of the coins. Now, it, there will be different steps for different um, exchanges. This is just the, my personal preference here. So I showed you that. Um, but the idea is pretty much the same anywhere you go. Um, as far as uh, how you can kind of make money off this, is, is do a little research, see, what, see what's popular in the forums, these new coins coming out. For example, Max Coin uh, came out and uh, had a lot of popularity on the news a lot. This was a coin, if you got in early, you, you really could have made some money off if you traded. Um, now, then again, once it reaches the high point, which is always hard to figure out what's the highest point um, to, to cash out at, you could trade that MAC coin back in for Bitcoin or something like that. Um, and it, 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 it might not reach its highest point. You might want to just hold on to it for a year or two and, and see what happens with it. Um, it there's always risk involved. Um, another place you could do, uh, if you're mining the coins like I am, um, you could go to BitBet, um, and this is you can actually do a little gambling uh, if you're bored, and uh, that's another way you could uh, <laughs> earn or lose money. Um, but you're gonna need bitcoins to do that. So this guide will show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you have any comments on uh, or questions, please feel free to let me know. If you have time, um, please give me a like, tweet, plus one, share, uh, Reddit up and um, that would help greatly thank you so much for watching I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and if you have some time um, please click the subscribe button here and if you also liked it please give me the thumbs up like um, that will help me my videos out greatly in my channel and finally you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com and I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.